really depends on who you ask. If you ask, if you ask the, the average person foraging is going to the supermarket and grabbing some you know, stuff off the shelf, but um, when you look at the, I guess, the true definition of it, foraging is, is collecting ingredients uh, for a meal. For, foraging on a whole in the southeast is getting bigger. The great thing about it is obviously it's, it's free. You can connect with your food a lot more. This amazing, um, I guess, abundance of native resources that we have here. In fact, what it means for the southeast is we're probably going to find more food tourists coming in, um, which is what we want. But also, it's, it's putting the southeast on the map. My name's Kirby Shearing. Um, I am a local restaurateur slash chef. Yeah, we're pretty busy at the moment. We've got a, a lot of um, lot of things happening, and my escapism um, during that time, which is still kind of work, is, is going out and foraging. What we'll find at this time of year throughout the southeast um, is that it is literally um, riddled with apple trees. A few locals have different stories of you know the best apple trees. You find them all along the side of the roads, all up through Mount Gambia, all through Lucendale, everywhere. You even find them up through Pathway as well. Some of them are just near perfect, you know, beautiful apples. And the thing is, is like that's free food, you know. It's something that's so um, so common, and it's put into you know our convenience stores, our supermarkets, where you can just go down, come down here to the southeast, and grab a fresh apple. Um, I think the best time to come down here is really autumn because right now it's, it's overcast but it's warm. Um, you know, there's an abundance of stuff. There's you know, berries and you know, beautiful greens and a day really would encapsulate. You could start off the beach, you know, walk over the reefs at low tide, pick abalone, dive in amongst the reef systems and catch your crayfish. You know, cast the rod out. You know, get some snapper. And then you can start bringing it inland, you know, you can go along the coastline, pick up all your native herbs and then start moving in towards the forest. And if there's been a bit of rain, you can start picking your mushrooms. so good. These are pine mushrooms and they are absolutely delicious. You can see there's a lot of dirt on there, but these ones you can actually give a good wash. Um, you know, get a little brush and brush up all this dirt. So I'm gonna collect some of these. It really pays to know what you're looking for. Um, and that's probably the unique thing about when you come down here, like if you live here, it's always here and it's in abundance. And you can, you know, like today I can just go home and I can cook these up on the stove at home, bit of butter, you know, some, some oil, really, really hot. Um, if I wanted to add to it, I can add some of that crest to it. You know, I can make a little dish pretty much. And it just shows that there's such a unique um, prospects in coming to this place because you can just go and get your food for free if you know what you're looking for. International um, visitations has actually jumped up a couple of percent, you know, five percent, which is huge because what they're looking for at the moment is that in the, is that food tourism experience. Um, the southeast provides some food to, uh, tourism experiences, and we're really just on the cusp of something, you know, cracking open like an egg. It's it's this amazing, um, I guess, abundance of, of native resources that we have here. In fact, on a whole, you know, foraging is, is really becoming bigger and better in the southeast because we've got lots of stuff to choose from.